you guys so today I'm coming at you with a story time so today's story time is about the time that I stalked someone I didn't like go to this person's house or find out where they live or anything like that so yeah let's get into the story time so this was back when I was a sophomore I was 15 years old when this happened um, and before you guys think I'm psycho let's just be real everyone at one point stalks someone whether it's online or I guess I don't know in person I didn't do it in person let's keep that in mind let's move on the summer prior to going into my sophomore year I started cheerleading um, it wasn't at school it was this like competitive competitive that's the word it was a competitive cheer team beginners cheer team because I had never done cheer um, other than like when I was little little before my mom was a cheerleader for years um, so I always wanted to do it so I had two of my friends who were doing it with me and then one of them the one who actually init initially wanted all of us to do it she ended up quitting for some i don't even remember why um but she ended up quitting for some reason and my parents had already paid the entire thing so my parents were like fuck that we already paid for you you're doing it so me and this other girl continue the cheerleading right from the jump it's a natural instinct i think everyone notices someone in the room wherever you go and sp spots people that are cute right i spotted this guy so he was on the dance hip-hop break dancing whatever competitive team while i was on the cheer team so the the, the two teams never like did anything together we just practiced they practiced on one side of the warehouse it was a warehouse it was one side of the warehouse and then we practiced on the other side of the warehouse um so from the moment i saw this guy i just thought he was so cute i never talked to him because hello i don't i'm not the type of person males or females i don't go up to someone i don't know and start talking to them i really don't to this day i don't do that that's not the kind of person i am um, you can come up to me and talk to me and we most likely will become best friends instantly But me myself, I cannot go up to anyone and talk to them and start a conversation We practiced I think it was two times a week that my team would practice um, And coincidentally every single time that the beginners team my team <laughs> um, We always practice the same nights that the, the hip-hop breakdancing whatever team practice as well so I saw this guy every single time I went to practice. Every single time. And not once did I go up to him and talk to him. So the season was, I think, from July to December. Because December we had a Christmas show that we put on for everyone. From July to November... I just had a crush on this guy that I didn't, I didn't even know what his name was, to be honest with you. I didn't know his name. All I knew is that he was super cute, he knew how to dance, and that's pretty much it. That's all I knew. <laughs> As time approached closer to the show that we were going to do, um, people started talking about like a Christmas party I think it was it was some sort of party that the company threw together and like all the dancers all the cheerleaders tumblers whatever they all got together and had a party like an end of the year party kind of thing so my goal was to start talking to him before the competition so then by the party we could like hang out you know so my sneaky, crazy, whatever the hell you want to call me, I went to my coach. I had two coaches. So one was 
still like a teenager yeah because she's only like three or four years older than me she's like around my age and then the other one was a mom of like a few of the like two or three of the girls that were in that were also cheerleaders at this company so I came up to the younger one I'll call her Gina the thing where I messed up was I told every single girl on the team well the girls that I was close with on the team that I thought that this guy was cute everyone else apparently also thought he was cute so my plan was to beat them to the punch become friends with him um, before the competition so then by the time that the party came he and I would be like cool like we'd be friends right so my coach knew him because she was just there all the time she had been doing it for a long time and she's around our age so I went up to her and I was like, hey, Gina, um, do you know that guy over there? And she's like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. What's his name? <laughs> and she's like, Tuffy. And I was like, okay. His name is not Tuffy. If that's a nickname, cool. What is his name? So she tells me his first name. And I'm like, Gina. I need a last name here. What's his last name? So she gives me a last name. It's Mexican last name. Um, but she pronounced it weird. So the way that she pronounced it is what I thought it was. So that night I go home with my first little hint um, of this guy. So I go home, get on Facebook. <laughs> And I'm typing out the name, right? Searching for him. I was typing out the name the way she pronounced it again, which was wrong because, she, I don't know, she just didn't know how to pronounce his last name. So I keep spelling it and I keep looking and I'm just not finding him on Facebook to the point where I'm just like, all right, maybe this guy just doesn't have a Facebook. Because um, a lot of people at the time didn't like Facebook so I was like, all right, whatever. I'm not going to find him. So, before I gave up, right before I gave up, <laughs> I went and found my other coach, the older woman. I found her, and I was like, oh, my God, I found her. So then I started looking through her friends, and still I couldn't find this guy. So then I'm like... Oh my god, I'm gonna look up Gina. So I go on to my other coach's friends and I find Gina. So there I go. There my creepy ass goes, adding every fucking coach on the team or in the company to find this guy. So I don't remember if Gina had to like add me back for me to look at her friends or if I could just, like, if her friends were public one way or another through Gina's friends and found the guy I was so fucking excited so my job was done here I added him closed the laptop whatever right went about my day and it was like going into the weekend because I remember we didn't I added him the last day of practice that week so I wasn't going to see him until like three or four days later when I had practice at the beginning of the following week. So the next morning I see that he added me back and I was like, yes, like, yes, like we're, I'm, this is going to happen. But my plan was not to like make it seem like I was too excited for him. So I just like, whatever, he added me back. But in reality, I was like, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, I remember I was heading to my class after lunch and my phone vibrated and I look it down at my phone and it said that I had a message on Facebook and I was like what the hell like who's gonna message me on Facebook at this point after he had added me that morning I didn't think about it I was already like we're friends on Facebook we have 
like a month and a half into the party, somehow, some way, we're gonna end up talking. So when I get into class, I got into class like a few minutes before the bell rang. So I open my phone and I notice that the message is from the guy that I had just stalked the night before. So I was like, holy shit, like, this is actually happening. I will never forget what this message said. So he said, hey, thanks for the ad, don't be a stranger, winky face included. Which is probably the most basic, most fuckboy message to send to any girl. But you know, at the time, my dumb ass was like, oh my so my response was, I won't be if you won't. And then from there, we just started casually talking. The next day at practice, we don't talk. I'm way too nervous. I completely avoid him. So this entire time, yeah, cool, we're cool over the phone texting, but I never was like, came up to him and talked to him. So I just like never really talked to him at practice, even after I had added him. So when we came back from practice, I told all my girls, I was, yo, guess what happened over the weekend? I found him, we're messaging, all you bitches better back the fuck up. I made it clear that he was gonna be mine. Fast forward to our Christmas show. Um, we're still talking, we're still cool. It's been about a month now. The dancers go up first. I'm like stretching, right? Because I was told to, to stretch. You know when you like stretch and your legs are like this and like you reach over and like stretch to touch your toe? I was doing that, <laughs> okay? Just visualize this, okay? So I'm down here and I like go up like that to switch over sides and he's like walking towards me and he's like going like this and i'm like oh my god and he like just walked away and i was like uh but he had said something i just didn't understand what he said and then i never saw him <laughs> like i couldn't find him afterwards and i had to go on right after that awkward encounter not to mention we fucked up the performance like bad we fucked it up bad so after that i was like i just fucked up this performance i don't know why the fuck he was coming at me the way he was but i need to know what's going on so i texted him i was like like what did you why did you just come up to me like that and walk away he was like i was calling your name and you completely ignored me and i was like um i don't know what you were calling because i never heard my name and again my name is very hard to understand like some people don't know how to say my name some of my family members like either struggle to say it or struggle to Belly, it's my name's weird so I don't know if he had said it wrong or just didn't know how to say it I don't know but till this day I don't remember hearing him call my name so my stupid ass was just like oh my god I'm so sorry I didn't hear you so after that competition there was no more practices um and I honestly don't even remember hearing about the end of the year party or the Christmas party or something like that again. So I never ended up going. Fast forward nine years later, the guy that I stopped turned out to be my boyfriend. <laughs> So that is my story time. I stalked my boyfriend years ago and here we are now living in the fourth apartment that we've had together. When he and I get married and we have kids, that's gonna be the story of how mommy and daddy met because mommy's crazy ass stalked him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thumbs up if you guys want more story times. And let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see in future videos. I will definitely be doing videos with my boyfriend. So just let me know what you guys want to see. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.